Let's have a look at how global illumination works here in Cinema 4D. Now, global illumination refers to reflected light that is created between objects that lie in close approximation to each other in order to compensate for overly dark regions. You have to enable this in the render settings. So if you come up here to render settings, you can go to effect and check global illumination. Okay, I'm going to close this down for a second. Now I'm going to create a little scene, put a cube in here, and I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Zoom out. So we're going to pretend this is a little room. I'm going to hit C on my keyboard to convert this to an editable mesh. I'm going to select this front polygon and delete it. So we've got this little pretend room. And let's go ahead and move this up. Now I'm going to put a couple spheres in here. Let's middle mouse click, get this set up. Put this over here, and we're going to duplicate it holding down Control or Command on the Mac and pulling down to duplicate it. And we'll put one more in here. Back in our perspective view, let's put these at different places inside. And we may even want to make our cube here a little bigger. Let's come back around here. Take this. Let's kind of pull that out. Pull this up. Just to make it a little bigger. So we have more room to work with. And we'll just move these around. There we go. Okay, so we've got our little room here. Now I'm going to create three materials, different colors, by double-clicking in the Material Editor. Grab the first material. Let me give it a color of blue. And actually, I don't want to turn the color on. I want to turn the luminance on. So the luminance is what I want to be blue, because the luminance is going to throw off light. So I'll put that on this one over here. Then we will turn on the luminance for this one. We'll make it red. Put that here. And then we'll take our third material. Turn the luminance on. Turn the color off. And then we'll make this magenta. Let's turn that on. There we go. All right. So. Let's just do a quick render and see what we get. And see, this is different already. So basically, there's no light in the scene whatsoever. The default light is not working. We only have these spheres giving light off. And you can see it's basically spilling light over onto the room floor. Now, I can go up into my render settings for my global illumination, and I can change these to different modes the IRC QMC still image. This is a pretty high resolution mode for still images. Samples medium. Now let's just keep all this on medium. And let's give another render. Okay. Let's look in our materials and come down to our illumination. Let's turn the strength on the blue sphere up to 500 and 500. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now you can see the blue is definitely throwing off more light here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the red. Let's get the illumination. Take that up to, say, 600 and 300. Magenta. Do a 300 and 500. Just playing around with numbers here to see what we get. Picture viewer. You can see we get some pretty interesting results here. Something else that we could do on this scene is we could grab our cube and take the ceiling, create one more of these, and let's just make a white light. Turn that off, turn on our transparency, our luminance. 
Okay. And let's put that on the ceiling. So now we're going to have a room that has a sort of like a fluorescent ceiling with our lights. Let's see what that looks like. Got to turn that down a little bit. Take the luminance down maybe to 25. Let's see what that looks like. Eh, that's not so good. Let's try that at about 76. Okay, I actually like it without the light on it at all. This looks better to me. So GI is the interaction of light between different objects within a scene. Simply said, light is reflected onto objects as it occurs in the real world. Light also reaches areas like corners that normal light sources wouldn't illuminate. So that's why in this scene you have many areas that aren't reached by the light. So anyway, that's a quick look at global illumination here in Cinema 4D.